From your email, click on your waffle and click on OneNote Online. You will see all of your OneNote notebooks. You may only have a few. Find your teacher's notebook. You'll see that I am in OneNote Online. I want to open it up in the desktop version of OneNote. I'm going to click the Open in OneNote button. It will take a few moments for it to open. Once it does, you will get a Microsoft security notice asking if you trust the file. We just opened the file from online, so I'm going to click Yes. If you get a pop-up that asks you about using settings, choose the top option that says Use Recommended Settings. Check at the bottom of your screen in the toolbar to see if you have a yellow and blue shield blinking. If so, click on it and close out of the pop-up. Once you deal with all the pop-ups, you'll be asked to log in using your school email address and password. Once you're ready, click Sign In. The reason you sign in is so that the desktop version can sync with the online version. Once you're in your notebook, at the top, find your name. This is your section of the class OneNote notebook. Click on the page where you would like to add a recording. Click on the Insert tab. Find the Record Audio button. As soon as you click the button, it will begin to record. You will see it says recording at the top of my screen. And I can see the recording time going up. The stop button will end your recording. If you need to pause but continue on, click on the pause button to stop and the pause button again to continue recording. Once you hit the stop button, it will end your recording and your file will be finalized. Click on your file to bring up the player controls. Here you can preview your recording. You can also right click to rename your file, as well as right click to cut or delete your file.